660 feet, no support columns, 18,000 tons of steel suspended over 60,000 seats, while construction crews work 30 meters from an active NFL stadium, where every vibration threatens the millimeter precision this impossible roof demands. Welcome to Big Builds. The Cumberland River floodplain beneath Nashville's East Bank presents the first engineering problem. Soft alluvial soils and variable fill layers cannot support a $2.1 billion stadium without massive intervention. 700 drilled piers punch deep into bedrock, each one precisely positioned to transfer loads from a hybrid structure that transitions from concrete foundations to steel superstructure hundreds of feet above. This foundation system anchors more than concrete and steel. It anchors the future of Tennessee Titans football and $1.2 billion in public investment. The engineering tolerances leave zero room for error. The foundation engineering extends beyond simple pier installation. Each drilled pier requires precise positioning within the floodplain's challenging soil conditions, where variable fill layers create uneven load distribution. The massive foundation blocks that connect these piers must account for differential settlement while maintaining the exact geometry required for the hybrid structure above. This foundation work represents the invisible foundation of the entire project's success. The hybrid structure begins with reinforced concrete cores and lower rings, designed to handle the compression loads and provide lateral stability. But as the structure rises, the material changes. Steel takes over for the upper rings and roof elements, creating a transition zone where concrete meets steel with precision. That determines whether the entire roof system succeeds or fails. The transition requires specialized connection details that can handle both material types while maintaining structural continuity. 18,000 tons of steel arrive on site as 25,000 individual pieces. Each piece must align within millimeters of its design position. The sequencing choreographs deliveries, crane movements, and assembly operations around an active NFL stadium just yards away. Every truck creates vibration. Every crane swing requires coordination with Titan's operations. Every welding operation must account for thermal expansion that could throw the entire system out of alignment. The steel fabrication process demands unprecedented precision. Each of the 25,000 pieces requires quality control verification before delivery with dimensional tolerances that leave no margin for field correction. The logistics operation coordinates with multiple crane teams while maintaining continuous steel erection progress. The proximity to active stadium operations creates additional complexity as every construction activity must avoid interference with Titan's game day preparations and ongoing facility operations. The roof engineering challenge centers on a cable-stayed system that spans the impossible distance without interior support. The ring beam anchors cables that transfer loads across 660 feet of clear span supporting ETFE cushions that cover several hundred feet of the structure. These ethylene tetrafluoroethylene panels weigh substantially less than glass, reducing the total structural load while allowing natural light to penetrate the space below. But ETFE installation requires perfect weather conditions and precise cable tensioning. The cables must achieve exact tension loads to prevent deflection that could damage the lightweight panels or create water ponding that overloads the system. Each cable connects to anchor points engineered into the ring beam, creating a web of interdependent forces that demand millimeter accuracy throughout the installation process. The ETFE system engineering extends beyond simple panel installation. Each cushion operates as a multi-layer pneumatic structure designed to maintain specific internal pressure while accommodating thermal movement and wind loads. The installation sequence requires specialized equipment and weather windows that align with the cable tensioning schedule. Any deviation in cable tension directly affects ETFE panel performance creating cascading impacts throughout the roof system's structural integrity. Construction reaches peak complexity as multiple systems converge. A workforce of 1,600 people coordinates foundation completion, steel erection, cable installation, and ETFE panel placement while maintaining strict safety protocols. Since construction began, 
six recordable injuries and 82 first aid incidents underscore the inherent dangers of building at this scale and complexity. The safety record reflects the challenges of coordinating specialized trades while maintaining precision tolerances. The workforce coordination extends beyond traditional construction management. Specialized steel erection crews work alongside cable installation experts, ETFE panel technicians, and mechanical systems installers, each requiring specific safety protocols and technical expertise. The peak workforce includes approximately 19,000 different workers rotating through the three-year construction cycle, creating continuous training and coordination challenges as the project progresses through its complex phases. The project timeline compresses risk into concentrated phases. Foundations and lower concrete structure completed in 2024. Steel structure topped out in 2025. Roof assembly, facade closure, and mechanical rough in Dominate 2026 progress toward the planned 2027 opening. Each milestone depends on the precision achieved in previous phases, creating cascading consequences for any engineering failure. Timeline coordination becomes critical as roof installation approaches. The cable stage system requires specific sequencing that cannot be accelerated without compromising structural integrity. Weather windows for ETFE installation create additional schedule pressure, as panel placement requires calm conditions and specific temperature ranges. Any delay in the roof system directly impacts interior finishing schedules and mechanical system installation, creating compounding effects throughout the remaining construction phases. Sustainability engineering integrates throughout the structural systems rather than functioning as an afterthought. The building management system from Schneider Electric coordinates electrical distribution, HVAC, and emergency power from a single command center, targeting 20% energy reduction and 30% reduction in mechanical system failures compared to conventional baselines. 400,000 gallon cisterns capture rainwater for toilet flushing and cooling towers, substantially reducing potable water consumption. The integrated building management system represents advanced facility automation that extends beyond traditional stadium operations. The Schneider Electric Platform coordinates electrical distribution, HVAC controls, emergency power systems, and lighting management through centralized monitoring that can predict maintenance needs and optimize energy consumption during both game day operations and daily facility management. The system's predictive capabilities help prevent the mechanical failures that typically plague large venue operations. The lead gold pursuit affects every engineering decision. Steel specifications, concrete mixes, and installation methods must meet environmental standards without compromising structural performance. The ETFE roof system contributes to energy efficiency through superior thermal performance compared to traditional glazing, but requires specialized installation expertise that adds complexity to an already demanding construction schedule. The sustainability targets influence material selection, construction methodology, and long-term operational strategies. Water management systems extend beyond the 400,000 gallon cisterns. The underground storage system connects to building mechanical systems through automated distribution that prioritizes captured rainwater for non-potable applications while maintaining backup connections to municipal water supplies. The cistern placement required coordination with foundation engineering to avoid conflicts with the deep pier system while maintaining proper drainage and overflow management during heavy rainfall events. Safety protocols intensify as roof installation begins. Fall protection systems, confined space procedures, and crane coordination protocols address the unique risks of cable stayed construction. The safety first culture emphasizes toolbox meetings and strict site access controls, but cannot eliminate the inherent dangers of working at height while tensioning cables that hold the entire roof system in equilibrium. Weather creates constant pressure on the construction timeline. Cable installation and ETFE panel placement require specific temperature and wind conditions. Delays cascade through the schedule, potentially affecting the 2027 opening and creating additional cost exposure for public funding partners. The engineering team monitors weather forecasts weeks in advance, scheduling critical operations during optimal conditions. The ring beam represents the project's most critical engineering element. This massive concrete and steel structure anchors all cable loads, 
while providing the precise geometry required for proper roof function. Installation requires millimeter accuracy in positioning and reinforcement placement, with embedded cable anchor points that cannot be adjusted once concrete cures. The ring beam installation determines whether the impossible roof becomes reality or engineering failure. Today, the steel structure stands topped out, creating the skeleton that will support the cable-stayed roof system. Roof assembly operations prepare for 2026 installation, with ETFE panels manufactured to exact specifications and cables fabricated to precise lengths. The engineering challenge shifts from vertical construction to horizontal precision as the roof system takes shape. The current construction phase represents a critical transition point where structural engineering meets architectural vision. Steel erection teams have completed the complex geometry required for cable anchor points, but the real test comes as roof installation begins. Cable tensioning operations require specialized equipment and expertise that few construction teams possess, creating additional pressure on scheduling and quality control as the project approaches its most technically demanding phase. The impossible roof will span 660 feet without support columns, creating unobstructed sight lines for 60,000 fans, while demonstrating that precision engineering can overcome seemingly impossible structural challenges. But this engineering achievement represents only the beginning of Nashville's East Bank transformation, where infrastructure systems must support urban development that extends far beyond the stadium itself. The steel stands ready. The cables await tensioning. The impossible roof prepares to span the void that separates engineering theory from structural reality.